As one of the three members of Parliament for Bolton, a town with proud industrial history, yeah. it is a pleasure to speak on this issue today. For too long, Britain's industrial strategy has been plagued by short-termism and vulnerability to political change. We need a real plan for businesses in Bolton and in Britain. Both industries base in my constituency. They provide high performance and high integrity protection systems for various construction, construction projects. Two things were clear from my visit of them. Firstly, it is imperative that we have make, buy and sell in Britain policy when developing our industrial strategy, the benefits of which are clear. Both industries were granted an HS2 contract to manufacture the tunnelling doors, and this contract has allowed them to diversify into other sectors. One such factor that they, uh, one such sector they want to enter is, is into the nuclear power plant, so they can grow their businesses. Yet, with EDF holding the contract, a significant amount of their supply chain use French companies. Surely it makes sense for using British businesses mm. for British yeah. nuclear power stations yes. when fulfilling the supply chain needs. This would not only develop our own supply chain resilience in Britain, but at the same time would support small and medium-sized enterprises, which as we know make up 99% of British employers and have allowed us to grow and invest. This is what levelling up actually in action means. <coughs> It means supporting British businesses to grow and train staff, create jobs, improve skills training, and prevent the brain drain of people leaving to get out of this country so that they can get on. We need projects like HS, HS2 completed, as well as the Northern Powerhouse. In Bolton, our train service is abysmal, and Aventi, which are meant to be servicing the North, but it seems all they seem to be doing is servicing their shareholders' pockets. Yep. And it's my constituents and people in Greater Manchester and other parts of the North are losing out. We need to invest in roads, rail, light rail, trams, subways, high speed rail, so we can have a positive impact on our economy and, of course, it benefits all our constituents. So, companies like Booth Industries will also then have a hook through which to invest and grow, whilst also improving our own public transport network, a genuine win-win situation. But industries like this also show that there is a place in Britain for well-paid green industrial jobs, which will also tackle climate crisis as well. <laughs> Labour Party's Green Prosperity Plan of investment in offshore wind, tidal, nuclear, hydrogen and solar will support companies like Booth Industries 100 times over. It is about time that Britain had a government which would create an environment for businesses up and down our nation to flourish, contribute and invest. And it is only the Labour Party who are providing the leadership Britain needs on this.